Hey guys, Molden here and I wanted to make a different video today, but there's this new breaking news. Diablo 3 has a new game director. Sounds good, yeah. Um, now, what I do usually with such things is I do some kind of background check. I want to know, okay, um, where is he from? What has this guy done in the past? Could it be a good game director? Is he gonna bring the game or head the game towards the right direction and so on? So what I did, for example, was, um, here you can see the announcement, probably have seen it already, but what I was checking was, um, which games did he previously work on and so on and I found something interesting now here. We have Jay Wilson um, The former game director who stepped down like half a year ago um, And here we have Josh Mosquera the new game director for Diablo 3 now since one or two days ago now Josh worked on Company of Heroes Jay Wilson worked on Company of Heroes Josh worked on Warhammer 40k Jay Wilson worked on Warhammer 40k. Josh worked on um, Homeworld 2. Jay Wilson worked on Homeworld 2. And so on, you get the idea. Um, they have worked already a lot together with each other in the past and probably know themselves and that's probably also how the new game director Josh got the position because of relationships and so on. But what is going to change now? I think it's a good thing that Diablo has a new game director now. Um, the, but the degree of or the level of impact of a game director is not that big. Now, if you remember when Jay Wilson stepped down half a year ago, Rob Powder came to his defense and said, if you feel there's something wrong with the game, blame it on me and not on Jay Wilson. Now, the new game director, Josh Mosquera, he used to work on a console a version of Diablo 3 before. He was the lead designer of the console project. And in 2011 and so on, a couple of years ago, he did a few interviews and... He was basically pointing out issues of the console versions, but also like positive things, for example, attracting a larger audience to Diablo. And he, in the interviews, he seemed to be like a really cool guy um, who shares passion for gaming. And this is exactly what a game director needs. Now, a game director at Blizzard, it depends on the company, of course, but at Blizzard, I think, is mostly responsible for two things. Um, the first is um, basically his... Um, responsible for advertising the game and like talking to the public about it like interviews at I don't know um, game fairs like games come and so on but also and this is probably more important um, he's responsible for like managing the internal development process like the game director has to make sure that the game is heading towards the right decision that all employees got um, work that is assigned to the right tasks um, the timelines are met and so on like I think this is probably the more important part in addition to like being a public representative of the game and giving it a good reputation and so on interacting with media and so on um, but yeah the internal thing and this is why I think that he is the right man for the position because it's better to have someone who already has experience with Blizzard who already worked a few years there like him then someone external who might not earn respect from the people and doesn't have any relationships in the company. For example, if they would have taken a game director from another game, another company, let's say EA, um, then he would be like the new guy that no one knows and they're like, ah, don't know them, should we trust him and so on. So what does it mean for Diablo 3? Um, I think the project is heading towards the right direction now, not just because of the new game director, but mostly because the development team is much bigger now after Titan development changed, so I think not in short term, like in the next few weeks, not much is probably going to happen, but I think in a few months, at the end of the year, the game is really going to get some significant improvements and we're going to enjoy playing it more than ever before. Now, what's also interesting, what I haven't shown you yet, is um, the impact of game directors in general. Um, on Reddit, um, user I'm the Real made a nice analysis. He was basically analyzing patches under J. Wilson. Um, who was working on the project since release um, for six and a half months and you see a bunch of patches and improvements came to the game like they fixed a completely broken game at release and made it pretty good um, as it is nowadays um, but patches since Jay Wilson moved to a different project um, which was six months ago in January only four so you see without a game director like the internal Process management is not that good um, and this is probably where the new game director Josh Mascara comes in and is going to help with the 
development process and to head Diablo 3 in the right direction. So things look positive for the distant future. Um, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. I'll be back.